So what are we gonna make today? We're gonna make the new twist wreath. This is a little bit of a spin off of the braided rope wreath that we made a few weeks ago, and you guys seem to like that one a lot, so let's do something like that again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Dollar Tree nautical rope. It's in my description link. I will leave it for you. You can purchase it that way if you want, but let's make a beautiful wreath, and it's so much fun and so versatile. Okay, so if you watched the first part of the, the video, then you know what I made. But um, guys, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Um, I have an ideal in my head. I don't even know exactly everything I'm going to use. But I figured, why not go for it? And you guys are so great that you guys will understand. So I might take a few days to film this. But um, the reaction I got over the braided wreath that I did a few weeks ago has been phenomenal. And as I was making that braided wreath that um, Gail from Purple Hues and um, me, I think it is, uh, shared with us, um, I was thinking while I was making it with the rustic rope, I was like, the Dollar Tree nautical rope would be so pretty. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna braid it, but we're simply gonna kind of twist it. So let's get started. Let's see where this takes us. And I hope it turns out because um, I'm gonna waste a lot of rope if, I, if it doesn't. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the thing. Um, the nautical rope at Dollar Tree in the past couple years seems to come in different sizes. So the one that I'm gonna use today is the thicker and if I had to guess, that's probably a half an inch um, across um, as for the diameter. It doesn't really give me any details like that on the packaging, so I can't be too specific. But I do know that they sell this on the website. I saw it this morning. I will share a link in the description box below. Yes, sometimes you have to buy a whole box of it. You can have it delivered to Dollar Tree. But I do know that some Dollar Trees will let you exchange what you didn't use for something else. So maybe check with your Dollar Tree. Ask them, if I have something delivered to your store, can I exchange the excess for something else? So it's just a thought. I don't know if it'll work, but I know that some of you guys have let me know in the comments. Every store is not the same. So this one has 6.8 feet. And if you remember when we did our last wreath, I said about six foot length is what you needed and that was more than enough. So th I know that's gonna be enough. And so basically what I have is I have six of these. I have three already cut out. I'm gonna cut the rest out and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so as in the last video, we are gonna just line these up. I am gonna do a step that I didn't do in the last video, which is I'm gonna see if my hot glue gun is hot enough here and we are gonna just glue these together at first here. I don't know. Yeah, I think the glue is gonna be hot enough. We're gonna kind of glue these three pieces together and kind of get our start, okay? So I'm gonna glue these and then I'm gonna glue these three. So we're gonna have three and three. Now you could make a bigger one, you could do the braided method, but we're not gonna braid it this time. We're gonna do something different, all right? And be careful because you are gonna get glue on your mat if you're not careful like me. Okay, so I have the three um, kind of glued together just to kind of get our start. And then I'm just gonna take painter's tape here and I'm going to just tear off a piece. And we are gonna start this off together like so. I'm going to tape this down to my table, okay? I'm gonna just tape it all together there. All right. So basically what we're gonna do is we are just going to go cross over each section, but here's the key. We need to keep everything nice and flat. Like that one isn't flat, so we gotta make sure we're keeping everything flat, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do is I went over once, so I'm going to lay a little bit of glue underneath, and when I go over top of each, um, layer here, I'm going to put a little bit of glue so that it kind of helps keep it together for us, all right? So that one's on. So I'm going to lay this down and then we're going to take this and we're going to go over top. So we're really just kind of going over one direction here. Move my chair a little bit. This would probably be better if you're standing up, but I'm not and that's okay. 
So I like the looks of that. I'm going to add some more glue. Put it down. It doesn't matter where, but we want it to kind of just come together. And with this one, I'm going to really kind of pay attention to making sure everything is very tight. All right, so let's do this again. Take this one and we're gonna go over top. So there's no braiding. We're just simply laying the right the right strands over to the left, okay? So I'm gonna take this over, keep it straight. The tendency would be to wanna like, and you could do this, let me see here. It would be to do this. And that would make a totally different look for sure. But I'm not going to do that this time. Doesn't mean I wouldn't try it next time. I'm going to layer this one. Bring my ropes to the side here. Make sure everything still feels pretty tight here. See, that one is in the wrong one. Is it? Is that the wrong one? No. You got to lay it flat. So, all right. Now that I've got it flat, Take my glue gun and I'm just going to go down the middle there. Put that back on the base so it can get warmed up. I don't want my glue to get hard. All right, so you're just going to keep doing the same process over and over. And so this is going to give us a slightly different look than the braided look. So um, I'm just going to keep doing this. And then what I will do is once I get down to where I'm down here where you can't see me, I will untape it and I will move it forward and tape it some more and just keep going. So I'll probably show you my progress here in a moment. So as I keep going along here, it's really easy to overlap these little ropes. So, and I did it back here and I was able to fix my mistake. As you can see, I've got all of that done. So um, I'm just gonna keep going until we're at the end, but I just kind of wanted to show you and kind of share that with you. So I'm just simply putting some glue underneath. I'm not being, I'm not being too careful. I just don't want the glue to poke through the top. Oops, that was a little loud, wasn't it? Um, I just don't want it to poke through the top. So um, just keep crisscrossing your ropes here and make sure that you don't overlap the wrong rope on the wrong side here because then you're going to get at the end and you're going to be like oh shoot that didn't go off as well as I had hoped so I'm just going to be very careful and just kind of a little bit meticulous on this part because you want to keep everything pretty tight as tight as you can keep it put the glue down and I am using Gorilla Glue this is not unless you can get like some sort of protectant spray. And I'm not really sure what spray that would be, honestly. I know that a lot of you guys have um, opinions in the comments. Keep le leaving those comments and letting me know, you know, what would you try um, to protect this from the outdoors? Now, maybe if it was like more winter, more fall, when it was more cooler in your area, you know, I might be willing to try it outside. And if you had a good covered porch, you know, there's that. But um, let me know in the comments, what would you do? But I really like the way that this is looking. It looks a little different. So we'll see the direction it takes us here. And I'm just going to keep going on. All right. So when I'm looking at our rope, I feel like there are some gaps here. And this is what I told you we were going to go back and fix. So this is the front of my rope. So I'm going to I'm going to put it on the back because you're going to see more glue and I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to go through my rope and I'm just going to kind of glue some sp spots that I find that has a little bit of give that I don't want to have. And that way, when you put your wreath together, it'll be, it'll come together better. So the better thing is, is the glue shows on this side and not the other side. So you can't really see it there. Oop, I got a little bit there, Julie. Okay, take your little scissors and just take it out there, guys. It'll come off your scissors. It'll be all right. But this is gonna be a little forgiving too because of the color of the rope, I feel like. So that's all right, we're gonna keep going. So I'm just gonna go through here and just kind of add a little bit of glue for those gaps and um, I'll be right back. I don't know what it is, but I've been using cardboard a lot lately. So <laughs> we're gonna use it again. I'm gonna get this off here. Um, this was for the feather wreath, the juju hat. So I will link that down below if you wanna learn how to make that. 
this was just a Dollar Tree um, project board. You know those project boards that you use with your kids for a science fair or something? Um, that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use the white side showing up just simply because I just want to make sure that if, if anything shows through the, the rope, it will, it will be the white that shows up. Now, I'm not going to do the full diameter of this um, frame simply because I don't need it that wide, okay? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the inside here and I'm going to trace around with a pencil and then I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to go around the outside here just like so. So I will cut that out and I will be right back. Okay, so we've got the wreath ready to assemble. Okay, this may not feel very, you know, secure. Um, listen, once you get this all together and put together, it's gonna be just fine. Now, the reason, why, another reason why you may not wanna put this outside because you don't wanna put cardboard. You don't wanna put anything that could risk getting wet. So if it like was in between a screen door and a door, that would be fine, okay? But, um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna work, I'm gonna find the spot that I wanna start, and I will tell you, because I wanna be transparent here, I have some glue pimples, okay? <laughs> Where I had glued in the front, or in the back of this, um, it looks like little glue pimples, and so don't, you wanna be really careful not to put too much glue. I obviously added a little too much, but honestly, it's not gonna show that much. I mean, you're gonna have to look really close up. So it's gonna be good. So what I wanna do is I wanna start my wreath here and I'm just gonna put glue. You're gonna put a good enough, a good amount of glue on your frame. And you can make this as big as you want, okay? This is basically a 14 inch in diameter frame that we've done here and um, that's what we've done. So I'm gonna just kind of move it over and I'm gonna to try to keep the form. And again, I won't end up using all of this, but I have some ideas down the road if I could get longer rope that I might do um, like a double layered wreath. And I think it'd be really pretty, even something for Christmas. Um, I should get out, I have some cording that you can get at Hobby Lobby. You could do something with that. I'm not sure how much it would cost or you know if it would be worth trying. But you never know and those you could do different colors and and just kind of oh just kind of use your imagination so just keep putting glue on your form here and simply just take your time and make sure that you're making a nice circular um form but i think that's really pretty do you ever have one of those projects where your glue gun can't melt the glue fast enough then you're using it that's the issue with this so just know that your glue gun is going to get a little behind because you're using a lot of glue so we're at the end here and I want to show you that I'm going to cut um, my wreath here so that we can have kind of a flatter um, you know end here so I'm just going to use these scissors again now I'm cutting through like a double layer here and it's cutting pretty good I'm impressed so if you recommended these scissors to me, thank you. I really appreciate it. You guys are a big help to me and I need it, you know. Um, I hope I'm a help to you in your crafting needs so you can be a help to me. So finding hidden gems. So that's how much we didn't use. So we definitely could have used a bigger um, wreath form, but um, I didn't have enough cardboard. So that's why we did that. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. We'll let that heat up some more. I'm gonna go under here and you're just gonna glue it down. I'm gonna add, oops, push that in. Add a little bit of glue here. And we're just gonna press all of that down and we're just gonna hold it together because wherever, this is gonna be where we put the bow. It doesn't matter if you want it on the side, the top, the bottom. If you watched the last video, I decided to put it at the bottom at the very last minute. So hopefully I'll know exactly what I'm doing, but now I gotta figure out what are we gonna put on this wreath? So it definitely has a more nautical feel to it, but honestly, you could go, you could go with like a Victorian feel. There's so many ways to kind of do, use this wreath and I just think it looks really pretty. This is what it looks like on the back. So you can notice that I went a little bit smaller than the last wreath I did when I braided it, um, simply because I wanted to make sure that this didn't show as much. So I kind of like that. I think that'll be good. So off to the back storage room 
to see what I have so we can decorate this. Okay, so you're probably thinking, okay, you already know, because you saw the first picture in the video, and again, I make these wreaths as I go along, and um, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do here, but I just am not feeling the nautical vibe here. So what I'm going to do is this is this is what would be me, okay? This is what I would like, so I'm going to just go in this direction. So I have this big branch of greenery that I picked up at Hobby Lobby a while ago. Of course, get it when it's 50% off. So that would make it $10. It's $20 normally. So make sure you get it when it's 50% off. And there's so much here that that's more than enough. I'm not even going to come close to using all of that. Um, here is a little bouquet of flowers. This one, I believe, yep, it came from Michael's. So I will see if I can find a link for it. I'll save the tag. And if I can find a link, there'll be a, in the description box underneath this video, there's like a little arrow or where you see my face, you can click on that and it will bring out down a box of information that has everything from my Facebook page links to my premium tutorials. And by the way, those are on sale this month, July, 2021. So make sure you click on those and see what those are all about. And then I have these little pearled, um, I think I got these from Michaels. I am not sure, I need to look it up. I think they're from Michaels, but I don't know. It's True Living Brand, and that just does not ring a bell to me right now. So I'm gonna open these up, see how, how long these are, and I just thought that might be pretty to have these little pearl lights going through my wreath here. And then lastly, okay, I got this from Dollar Tree. Let's see, Rooms and Blooms, it's called, and it's that paper. Do you guys remember your mom's doing this? Okay, I'm, I'm dating myself here, but okay. If you know my story, you know that my mom passed away when I was 18. So, and she is, she was my crafter in my life. She was my, my seamstress and she has taught, she is the reason why I'm crafty today. And so I remember her getting this stuff and using it. And so when I saw it, I had to get it. I didn't know what project I was gonna use it for, but we're gonna use it for this one. And it just brings back memories of my mom. So that's special to me. So. Let's open this up and see if this will work. Okay, so I try to get these lights. This is what they look like on. And I'm not loving it. So, do I think you can make this work? Absolutely. I'm just not loving it for my wreath right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just skip this part all together. You could just kind of wrap this around. I The only way that I could think to make this work is to kind of glue the wire part underneath the rope if you decided to use this, but I do think it's pretty. I need to find another project and I just think that's really pretty. So I need to find out where I got these two. So let me know in the comments if you wanna know. I don't know where I got them. So there you go. So let's start with the bow first. Now again, you don't have to use this um, paper twist. I don't even really know what they used to call this because the, the paper, the tag didn't really say. But as you can see, I've already undone or unraveled, not undone, unraveled some of it. And I'm not even unraveling it quite all the way. There's still a little bit more give it could give. So I think I cut it out, oh, five foot, because I'm not gonna make it too big because this isn't gonna be um, very manageable. But again, we're going for the look and it reminded me of my mom. So we're gonna go with that. So just unravel your paper. All right, so I'm gonna grab my little um, pipe cleaner that kind of matches just because I can. And I'm gonna take my wreath here and I want a tail. So, and I don't know how big, so I just wanna make, you know, have a good length there. So I'm just gonna make a nice loop, okay? So let's, let's see here. Let's make an eight inch loop, which makes right there. And we're just gonna keep this really simple. All right, I'm do another eight inches. That's where these um, mats with all of the um, inches on it come in handy. So don't worry about, you know, fluffing it out right now because we're not gonna be there yet. So I'm gonna do another eight inch. Kinda, oh, is that right? Make sure, yep. I'm gonna come back, just make sure that it's right here. And I'm gonna make another eight inch loop here and just come back. So let's see. 
I think that is just enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold it in the middle there. Take your pipe cleaner. This is so easy, guys. It's so easy. I'm gonna twist here and I'm gonna go over and I'm just gonna go over it again and just twist it, okay? Now we're gonna glue this down. So we really don't need to have it big enough because again, if you wanted it bigger, use a long piece of wire and then you could wrap it around. So, um, but I'm just, honestly, I'm just gonna glue that on. That's all I'm gonna do. Um, but you could take a wire, you know what? Let me take a wire and do it the right way, Julie. Don't do it the way that you think you should do it. I have like three pairs of scissors here. Find what I want here, which is, are these. So let's do it the right way, okay? I'm gonna take one of my wires and we're gonna go around it. Now this is a print, this is 22 gauge, okay? But that's gonna go around, that's gonna be enough to go around that whole point there. Okay, so because I have that all showing, I am going to cut off just a little bit here. And I'm gonna just kind of fold it over. And then I'm gonna go like so, like that, okay? Let's just use our wire to kind of help that along here. I'm gonna twist it, I'm gonna pull it really good and then I'm gonna twist it. This is a really, this is like the noises, noisiest bow I've ever made, I think. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring this around. I'm gonna cut off the little excess here. I do a better angle, there we go. And then, let's see here. Let's find the part, we're gonna put it right here. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there and then we're gonna start adding all of our greenery. Okay, and the greenery is gonna help cover all of this. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to twist it. Again, you could have glued this down, but I wanna to try to be, do it the proper way. <laughs> All right, there's no wire in this. This is totally paper. And um, do you guys remember, I don't know, my mom made these baskets with this type of material and it was like it was woven. I mean, they were beautiful. I don't know. If that brings back any memories for you guys, so let me know in the comments if it does. I think this is pretty. I just like the look of it. Okay. So let's just do this. All right. And you could do um, three loops on each side if you wanted to. Just do another eight inch, okay? So what I'm going to do here is, let's see here. I don't want to cut this too short. So let's just cut it about right here. And then we can make it a little bit shorter if we want to, but again, we'll figure it out. And I may end up getting rid of these all together, who knows? So let's get out the greenery. Okay, so I've been going through trying to pick out, you know, what are some good spots for everything. And I really like these flowers. So I wanna use the flowers. I really like the greenery, so I wanna use the greenery. So you're just gonna cut off pieces of the greenery and you're just gonna glue them in here, okay? And basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut off your pieces and then I'm gonna just add some glue to the back, okay? Watch your fingers, because this is really hot. And I'm just gonna start layering the greenery and I'm gonna even add a little bit of glue up top here, like on the back of some of these leaves just so that it'll lay nice on our form here. So again, what do I, I am not an expert on this type of wreath. When you add greenery and flowers or any of that, um, but I, what I do try to do is I try to do one side and then do the other. And so go from one side to the other and try to mirror, mirror. <laughs> I always have a problem with that. Um, as much as you can. So I'm gonna kind of come down here and I'm gonna go this way right here. I'm gonna go down a little bit and you're just gonna have fun with it. You're gonna just have fun and just place everything wherever you want and enjoy it. Now this, I really like the look of this and I will leave you a link 
owe to Hobby Lobby to hopefully you can order it online perhaps or just be able to look for it, okay, when you're in the store. All right. So again, I want to kind of mirror it. I want to go down here. This one feels a little, oh, oops, because it was two pieces, Julie. So I want to do the same. And then we're going to add our flowers here in a moment, but I just want to kind of start with the the greenery. I just talked to my friend, Michelle of A Noble Touch. She put out a video, I believe this week, a pumpkin centerpiece, and she used the same exact lights. And you know where she got them at? Dollar General. And that makes me want, um, remember, yes, I was at Dollar General earlier in the month, and I believe in June, actually, and that's where I got them. So Dollar General is where you can get those really pretty lights. I want to say they were like $5, maybe 3 but I think they were around 5 So if you have a project or you maybe you want to make the project that Michelle's making. So I'm going to just kind of add that there. I'm going to kind of hold it down and watch your fingers again. Gets a little hot. We don't want to get too hot. So I think that's a little too much there. You're just going to cut the little pieces and make it work. Okay, so again, as you can see, I still have quite a bit. So the one of these will last you several projects at the minimum. I'm thinking at the minimum, you're going to be able to do several projects with these. So I'm going to add another one there, another one here, maybe some through here. Okay, so I had like five of these flowers. And you know what? I think I'm going to use all of these flowers from this little um, like package, like bouquet that I had. So I'm taking the bigger flower first and I'm just gonna cut it down a bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go behind the wreath here and I'm gonna have this flower be on top of the bow itself. I just think that's pretty, so I'm gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna put some glue on it. And I'm just gonna add it to the bottom here. And you might wanna even add a little bit of glue if you're doing it the way I'm doing it. You don't have to do it this way, remember that. You can do it whatever way. And I love it when you guys get in my group called Recreators and More, my group and um, Michelle of A Noble Touch. We have a group together. And you guys share what you guys have learned and done with the different things that we've taught you here on YouTube. And so basically, I just want you to keep doing that. So let's put, let's see here, just gonna cut it, keep it, come on. I'm just gonna kind of go through there. A little bit more glue. We're just gonna go and find a spot. I think that'll be pretty. And then we're gonna put the smaller one down in there and we'll have five um, flowers total. Again, just cut. So listen, if you're on Facebook, make sure you follow me on Facebook. Um, I just got into the TikTok scene, so I am over there. So if you like TikTok, kind of a guilty pleasure in my opinion, but <laughs> if you like it, I'm on TikTok now. Um, Instagram, all that good stuff. And you will find probably a version of this video there soon. So... I kind of like to share it over there too. So I think this is going to be so pretty, but anyways, if you've made it this far in the video, listen, do me a favor and leave me an emoji of a doggy if you can. And I'm going to tell you why. And if you saw on my social media, my dog, dog Riley of 15 years, he passed away. So and he used to love to sit in this wreath room with me and he used to love just to just to be with mom and and help me craft so if you can find a little doggy emoji i appreciate it and we will dedicate this video to riley he was such a sweet 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 dog so i might add a little bit more greenery right here because i i kind of let the glue show a little bit but anyways, I think this is super cute. I think this turned out really good. I might trim this up just a tad. I might even bring this down. I think that might be pretty. See when, when it's all 
I'm gonna trim that down just a little bit. And I think this is a little bit longer. So let's trim this one too. But I think that's so pretty. And you know what? Make it your own. If you wanna do a nautical theme, do a nautical theme. I think that looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna make, you can either hang it, really you can hang it on this. And that's probably what I will do is hang it underneath here. But I think that's pretty. I love how it turned out. I hope you did too. Um, again, thank you for watching. And until next time, we'll see you in Julie's Wreath Boutique. Bye-bye.